Implementing action for climate adaptation is a key focus at this year's UN Climate Change Summit. In response to the devastating impacts of climate change affecting vulnerable people all over the world, the COP27 presidency has launched the Sharm El Sheikh Adaptation Agenda in partnership with the UN Climate Change High Level Champions and the Marrakesh Partnership. This agenda is a comprehensive, shared agenda to rally global action around 30 outcomes that are needed to address the adaptation gap and achieve a resilient world by 2030. The agenda aims at accelerating transformative action by countries, regions, cities, businesses, investors, and civil society to adapt to the acute climate hazards facing vulnerable communities. The Sharm El Sheikh Adaptation Agenda is coming as research published by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change warns that almost half of the world's population will be at severe risk of climate change impacts by 2030, even if the target of limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels outlined in the Paris Agreement is met. Champion. The Adaptation Agenda is laid out across five impact systems. Collectively, these outcomes represent the first comprehensive global plan to rally both state and non-state actors behind the shared set of adaptation actions that are required by the end of this decade across five impact systematic systems, food and agriculture, water and nature, coastal and oceans, human settlements and infrastructure, and including enabling solutions for planning and finance. Some of the targets include expanding access to clean cooking for 2.4 billion people through at least $10 billion a year in innovative finance. Investing $4 billion to secure the future of 15 million hectares of mangroves and protecting 3 billion people by installing smart and early warning systems. Adjusting to the impacts of climate change through adaptation has received far less funding and attention than mitigation for a long time. A point highlighted by UN climate change high-level envoy, Dr. Mahmoud Mohildeen. 80% of finance coming, as little as it comes in absolute figures, but 80% and more are dedicated to mitigation efforts like financing renewables um, and, and um, alternative energy. These are the figures from the MDBs. Around 20% are going to adaptation. This needs to change, especially that the private sector found the business case for it. We need more finance for adaptation, I think. Paying attention to this issue is very much important. With this agenda, the COP27 presidency and its partners are emphasizing the urgency for counting with evidence-based, actionable adaptation plans. But the agenda's success will be determined by the commitment of all actors involved. Leila Johnson-Salami, Arise News.